All right, Shalom, Akim, all praises, honor, and glory goes to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakudash, double honors to my apostles and elders, a great millstone, peace and blessings to you, fellow Akim out there pushing out this word and truth sincerity. Once again, I want to do a video about this January 20th through 21st super blood wolf moon that's about to uh, converge in a couple of days. You know, it's going to be uh, when the, you know, the moon is in the highest of the sky. It's going to be a, uh, a full moon, which, you know, these people call it a rare super blood wolf moon is coming. Now, we are not amazed at these things that are happening, but we take these things as signs from heaven. So basically, I want to do this video to show you that or to rather speak about this uh, super blood wolf moon is a sign of, you know, more judgment coming to the planet Earth. You know, let me read a little bit of this article. It says, mark your calendars. A rare super blood wolf moon is coming in January 2019. OK, and today is January uh, January 16, 2019. All right. So there's a few more days and we are going to be inside of a uh, we're going to see the whole North America is going to see this super blood wolf moon. OK, get ready to do some serious sky gazing in 2019. Really, you should be getting ready for great judgment to happen in the planet Earth. All right. We're going to get some scriptures to, to prove that and back that statement up. The new year will get off with a with off to a brilliant start when a rare reddish orange body called a super blood wolf moon grace graces the sky in January. Forbes report and this year has already started off beautifully. Are you women have been getting judged? Okay, this government shutdown is affecting you, American people. Okay, with no sight and uh no end in sight. There's more uprisings. France, they're still riding out there in France and the mainstream media is not covering these things. Trump is as pompous as ever. All right. So this proves that we're at the end of the world, the end of Esau's world. This phenomenon is actually the convergence of a few lunar events. For one, there is a total lunar eclipse, also known as a blood moon. This occurs when Earth comes between the sun and the moon, causing the sun's light to bend towards the moon Hence the spooky red hue. Yeah, because we're in spooky times. All right, spooky times for you Americans. Spooky times for the wicked around the world. All right, more judgment is about to proceed. All right, this is a sign that the Heavenly Father is going to, you know, totally destroy you people. All right, don't don't be surprised. More cops die, and that's that's like a a normal occurrence now. There's going to be more. Uh, you know, it's going to be more mass shootings, you know, more people being kidnapped, you know, hence the spooky red hue. After January 2019, a total total lunar eclipse will occur in 2021. Secondly, the super blood wolf moon makes place during a super moon. This occurs when a moon's full phase uh, coincides with the point in its orbit when it comes closest to the Earth. These two factors make it look 14% larger and 30% brighter than a normal no, than it normally does, according to space.com. That's it on the article, you know. Let's go to a let's go to some scriptures. This is Joel 2 and 30. And I will show wonders in, in the heavens and in the earth. Blood and fire and pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord. Come, let me read that again. The sun shall be turned into darkness. Okay, that is a, a solar eclipse and the moon into blood. So this is not just a regular lunar eclipse, but it's a super blood wolf moon, right? This is what it says. <laughs> you people are done. More, hey, look. More judgment is coming. All right, this the, hey, the chip is going to come. All right, Lord's will this year. They're going to push more into this AI. Uh, more people are going to be uh, confused at the state of the world. All right, and this is a sign that we take that we know from Yah Basham Shai to uh, you know to let us know that he's on his way. Well, it tells you here that. Let's read it again. The sun shall be turned into darkness, 
and the moon into blood. Isn't that what we just saw? Before the great and terrible day of the Lord come. So this great and terrible day of darkness and not light. Let's, let's bring that out. It's Amos 5. Let me go right to the point. Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light? Even very dark and no brightness in it? Yeah, that's why. So a lot of destruction is going to pursue right before the day of the Lord. Okay. And this sign, this super blood wolf moon, is just another sign, which there's going to be many signs in heaven this year. To the point to where a lot of these astrologists and start start gazers, this is like a, a this is like a, a, a party. This is like a, a party to them. This is going to be a great year for them, so to speak. You know, because we know that the heathens, they're dismayed at the signs of heaven. But the scriptures say for us not to be dismayed at the signs of heaven. Let's bring out real quick. Like I said, I'm gonna make this quick. This is Jeremiah 10 and 2. Thus said the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. For the heathen are dismayed at them. So we're not dismayed, dismayed at the at the signs of heaven. Okay. But we know these signs from heaven is a direct, you know, uh, sign from the heavenly father, Yahweh Shai, to let you know that the day of the Lord is coming, the day of vengeance upon you Americans, upon you people of the world, upon you Edomites, upon you heathen, and upon two thirds of our people. Okay, because you're going to receive. A lot. See, a lot of this judgment that's going to take place is going to be is going to take place upon you, the children of Israel. Okay. Hence the name Jacob's trouble. So the Lord, He's ushering the in Jacob's trouble. Are in a in a in a two third Israelite has no idea what what's going on. Let's start wrapping up and, and get the, these last couple of precepts. This is Luke twenty one and twenty five, and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon. Is this not a sign? It says that the sun, the, the moon shall be turned into blood, the sun into darkness. Uh, on the two weeks ago, on the new moon, there was a there was a solar, a solar eclipse, a partial solar eclipse that the far east, the only ones who saw it was the far east. So now we're going to have a super blood wolf moon that only North America, pretty much North America is going to see. The far east is not going to see this. So there's there there you go, and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars, all right? Because you're gonna have uh you're gonna have comets. There's gonna be uh, I forget exactly what they call it, but there's gonna be comets that are gonna be passing by at a particular time this year that you know people are gonna see. I think it's from Haley's comet. If I'm not mistaken, so many years you can see the trail of the comets pass by the Earth's atmosphere. So that that right there is stars and uh, is um, signs in the stars, and upon and this is happening this year. So 2019 is a very unprecedented year when things are increased in um in in severity, okay, in intensity, okay, and um to the point to where th these things are record breaking, okay, and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity, perplexity, and the sea. And waving roars, roaring. Men's hearts felling them for fear. See, fear is coming here. Why? Because of distress. And for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. What's coming on the earth? Okay. Distress of the nations, a uh, job loss, not able, not being able to take care of your family, of uh, famines, pestilences, okay, uh, more wars, more people uh, uh dying of uh, catastrophic events, you know. More, more things are coming to this earth. And this is a sign that Yahweh is going to intensify things. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. All right. The, the, the elite of this world, the ones who run this world, they're going to get shooken up. Okay. They're going to get shooken up. Now I want to come to this, uh, this verse 25 because it says, upon the earth, distress of nations, which the video is, you know, going into these signs are, you know, these, this, this, this lunar eclipse and these other signs are a sign that uh more judgment is coming to the planet earth now let's go to this word distress in luke 21 25 strong's g 49 28 sunahe 
Now, when we come over here, it says metaphorically straits, distress, anguish, straits of S T R A I T, meaning a, 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 a path of difficulty. So, you people are going to be in a path of difficulty. You're going to be uh, in, in distress. We're already seeing the distress of nations all around the world. Out there in Venezuela, they're eating zoo animals. That's how bad it has gotten. Their total, their, their, their money system has totally collapsed. They have been blocked off from pretty much all trade, okay, with the nations. So people are killing each other. It's a doggy dog world out there. It's only the, the, the strong survive, right? And this is going to come to America. This is already happening in America. Look what this government shutdown is doing to the TSA members, the people of government that are not getting paid. A lot of you Edomites, a lot of the a lot of you, you so-called black women that hold in positions, you were sure that you were going to get checked. You didn't think in a million years that you will never receive a check, that a government shutdown will last this long. All right. And that's putting you in what? It's going to stay down here. A figuratively, a ficti uh, Figuratively, uh, I'm slacky. I'm, I'm butchering that word. I can't even say it right now, but it's okay. Anxiety, anguish, distress. Okay, so that's what's coming to the planet, planet Earth. Anxiety, anguish, distress. Which let's look at this word anxiety. I always do it in Edamon. The very heavy definition. Apprehension caused by danger, misfortune, or error, uneasiness of mind. Respecting some um, respecting some uncertainty, a restless dread of some evil. So evil is coming, and this sign, okay, is telling you that uneasiness, anxiety is coming. That's what the word distress means. Uh, synonym for the word distress is anxiety. Okay, let's wrap it up. This is a uh, second Ezra nine and one. We're gonna read down. He answered me then and said, "Measure thou the time diligently." In itself, and when thou seest parts of the signs pass, which I told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time when the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. And how is he going to visit the world uh, which he made? Okay, let me um, let's go to Second Ezra fifteen. Actually, we'll come back here because it's going to tell us how the Lord is going to visit this place. This is uh second address 15 and uh i'm gonna go right to the point in 11 but i will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretch out arm and smite egypt with plagues as before and would destroy all the land thereof egypt shall mourn and the foundations of it shall be smitten with the plague of the punishment that the most High shall bring upon it and this is modern day egypt they that till the ground shall mourn for the sea shall fail through the blasting and hell with with a fear with and with a fearful constellation woe to the world and them that dwell therein for the sword and their destruction draw nigh and one people shall stand up and fight against another with swords in their hands and there shall be sedition among men and invading one another they shall not regard the kings nor princes and the course of their action shall be stand shall stand in their power so this is what's happening let me uh i got another precept real quick Okay, okay, slack it. 
uh, let me go back because it's going. We're gonna. That's the scripture actually. We're gonna read. So let's go back to Second Ezra, and we'll just finish it out. Second Ezra nine. So we understand from these signs that the Lord is uh is about to come and visit the earth. What he is visiting the earth, he's increasing judgments. Therefore, when thou shalt see earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, thou shalt well understand that the most high spake of those things from the from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For as all is made uh, made in the world has a beginning and an end, the end is manifest. Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works. And the ending in effects and signs. Okay, and this is uh the super blood wolf moon is a sign. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith wherein ye have where ye have believed shall be preserved from the set said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and with my borders for I have sac sac sanctified them for me from the beginning. Then shall they be in a then shall they be a pitiful case which now have abused my ways. And they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. Yeah, you, you, uh, you Israelites, you Israelites that cast it away of Yah by Shema Shai. And it also goes for you Edomites too, who have took the Bible, okay, uh, for for yourself, all right, and said that you're a Christian. For such as their life have received benefits and have not known me, and they that have loathed my law while they yet had liberty. So the Lord gave you liberty. And when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, you Israelites understood not, but despised it. The same must know it by death, by pain. OK. So you uh, you people here in America are going to know. OK, y'all bash my shy. All right. By pain. OK. And this sign in heaven is just another another representative or another representation of the Heavenly Father, the turning of judgment on the planet Earth. So with that, I want to say Shalom.